Welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today we're gonna to be looking at the options, or actually reducing your options, by using a reductive palette. You may find that sometimes you get in a little rut and sometimes you're kind of, you know, looking at uh, all of your subject matters the same exact way. Maybe you get a little overburdened by color choices and stuff like that, but this is kind of a fun option. Maybe you try it once and you hate it, but maybe it opens a whole new door to the way that you're viewing subject matter and how you execute. So what I'm talking about is actually reducing your palette down to just a couple of colors. This one is a painting that you guys have seen before as a perfect example. So I didn't feel the need to like reinvent the wheel we can when we can just talk about this one this one's been in the catalog for a couple of years and this is our miller signature gesso panel that it's on but what i really want to talk to you about is looking at just taking your color palette down to just two maybe three colors because what you really need is a color that serves as your light your medium and your dark okay now you can even, as we did in this one, use the white of the gessoed panel as the light, because really we have two colors that are actually operating here. We have buff titanium and we have bronze, and then we're using the white of the panel here to execute. So think of it in the same way. Let's, let's say that you're doing maybe even a landscape. So you're looking for something that can function as the light, something that can um, serve as like your 50% in terms of value, not necessarily color, and then something that can serve as your dark. They don't even necessarily need to be in the same color family. It'd be actually kind of cool if they were opposites on the color wheel, but looking at it in terms of value, and it can be a really, really exciting way to execute subject matter um, that normally you maybe approach in a traditional manner and maybe find some exciting, happy accidents along the way. So take a look at using a re reductive palette and expressing your ways of executing subject matter in a totally new and different way. Enjoy.